Welcome to the world of African genes on fleek. This YouTube channel is for educational purposes, it promotes health and well-being, and it motivates individual black individuals from over the world, via their magnificent work of diverse arts. This channel is for everyone, let us know what topics you'd like us to cover, and we'll be pleased to upload them. Please remember to subscribe, click the bell button, like, and leave a comment. Some people believe that bleaching their dark skin to pale skin is a significant achievement. Martha Hagos is an excellent example of a black and attractive woman. She is a culture curator as well as an endowed beautiful lady who proudly wears her dark skin. She frequently posts images of herself, because her line of work required her to travel to various locations across the world, in order to learn about different cultures, and to gather material for her exhibition. Martha is a stunning woman with 136k Instagram followers. The Black Academy BLACK Canada has promoted Martha Hagos to executive director. Hagos is in charge of the day-to-day -day operations of both the Black Academy and BLACK in this capacity. Canada, with a focus on defining and executing the strategic goal, as well as managing the organization's financial performance. For years now, Martha has been our star quarterback and trusted friend, Shamir Anderson, co-founder of the Black Academy, remarked, her knowledge and unwavering commitment to our mission make her the ideal candidate for this pivotal position. No one is more qualified to assist us in developing an infrastructure that would assure social change in our community. Remember to subscribe to African Jeans on Fleek, our YouTube channel? Let us now continue our discussion on Martha Hagos, who is really stunning. What matters most to me is that via my job, I'm able to elevate and magnify black voices, stories, and talent," said Martha Hagos, executive director of the Black Academy in BLACK Canada. The Black Academy is without a doubt the greatest venue to do it. Hagos was previously the director of operations of the Black Academy, and has overseen the annual BLACK Ball in Toronto and Los Angeles since its inception. Hagos handled a wide range of member events at Soho House Toronto, before joining BLACK Canada full-time. Hagos, who is probably of Ethiopian ancestry and was born and raised in Windsor, Ontario, holds an Honours Bachelor of Arts in Communications from McMaster University, and a postgraduate diploma in Public Relations from Hummer College. Which led to an internship with Chorus Entertainment's Kids and Drama Publicity Division, and later a job as an event organizer at Soho House in Toronto. At the same time, Hagos was building her network within the business, which led to a fateful meeting with Anderson and James at a concert for the Wheaton Through Common Acquaintances. She was hired in 2018 to assist with the annual BLACK Ball at the Toronto International Film Festival, but she soon rose up the ranks to become Director of Operations. The nonprofit formed a new section, the Black Academy, in 2020 to operate year-long educational programming and create a new awards program to encourage young black talent. Within a year, the group had signed a three-year arrangement with CBC to broadcast a live awards presentation produced by Boat Rockers Inside Productions beginning in 2022. Hago's day-to-day duties include acquiring sponsorships for the Academy's events and year-long activities, directing the creation of the Academy's educational programs, and collaborating with CBC and Insight to construct an entire awards ceremony, according to Hago's. A lot of people believe in it, and there's a lot of excitement around it, she says, which helps motivate me every day. The BIPOC community has been reaching out to ask, how can I contribute my work, since the announcement? People desire a platform to present their work since there is so much of it laying around. Giving them the room to present their work has been one of the amazing things about having this award show. A cooperation with her former employer Cineplex is one of her latest accomplishments. The national exhibitor was working on a Black History Month project for its Cineplex store, which included putting together a library of films that featured African-American tales and talent. Anderson connected Hagos with Cineplex in order to broaden the campaign and donate $1 from every ticket sold to the Black Academy. These were great black films that are hard to come by, like Rick Famai It Was The Wood, so having Cineplex as a platform for the month was incredible, she says. However, things haven't always gone smoothly. It's been difficult, according to Hagos, to acquire regular funding to keep their year-round programming going. There are hashtag moments in the African-American community, Something traumatic happens in the media, and people want to reach out to you to see how they can help," she explains. As soon as the hashtag moment is over, it's back to the ebb and flow, and support interest fades. 
I'm a black woman now, I'm a black woman tomorrow, and I'm a black woman 365 days a year, I constantly repeat. Our encounters occur on a regular basis. Her long-term goal for BLACK Canada and the Black Academy is to expand the organization's reach across Canada, and she's already in talks with organizations like Creative BC to make that happen. She continues, I want to see us from the East Coast to the West. I believe that a lot of Canadian talent is centered on Toronto, but there is Canadian black talent all around the country. In Halifax, the black experience differs from that of Vancouver or Toronto, I want the world to know about black Canadians' achievements. She has taken on a tremendous opportunity as well as a tremendous challenge, Cox says. She has taken on a really deep, emotional relationship to developing this show and expanding up the academy with such confidence. Her skillset and abilities have so much room for improvement that in a year, her star will be even brighter. Thank you for watching African Jeans on Fleek. We hope you enjoyed today's topic. Please remember to subscribe, click the notification bell, like, and comment.